Hey, what is going on all you bust nuts, geeks, and enthusiasts out there? Welcome to another episode of Motor Coach World. My name is James. Now, before I started driving motor coaches, I rode on them a lot throughout my elementary, through my high school days. I was one of those kids that looked forward to the ride on the motor coach more so than the actual field trip destination itself. Compared to a city bus and a school bus, motor coaches are much quieter inside and definitely a much smoother ride. The seats were more comfortable, and of course there were TVs and restrooms on board. But the one thing that I never really thought about that people today ask me all the time is, why can't you open the windows on a coach bus? Well, in today's video, we're gonna take a look at why the windows on a coach bus are designed the way they are and why they're so much different than that of a window on a school bus or a city transit bus. So my eight-year-old daughter, Leah, actually gave me the idea for today's topic. And honestly, I tried researching this question on the internet and I actually couldn't find any answers as to why passengers can't open the windows on a coach bus. First, let me just say that back in the 50s through the 70s, long haul motor coaches were built with windows that could be opened. But after coach buses started being equipped with our modern heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems, or otherwise known as HVAC systems, Coach manufacturers started designing motor coaches with windows that didn't open anymore. So why is that? I mean, why not leave them so that they can still be open? I mean, city transit buses have HVAC systems in them today, and you can usually still open the small upper part of the window on the city transit buses. And also, school buses can be purchased with the option of having an HVAC system installed on board as well, and their windows can still be open. So why not the motor coach? Well, because I couldn't really find anything on this topic on the internet, here are some of my speculations on this matter as a person who operates a bus company. I have several ideas as to why most motor coach manufacturers made the windows on these coach buses unopenable. Okay, so here's one of the more obvious answers. Motor coaches today are much larger with the ability to carry many more passengers and travel at higher speeds in comparison to their predecessors from back in the 50s and 60s. With more passengers on board and sitting much higher up above the ground due to their larger sizes, to me it just seems like a liability to have windows that can open during transit, I mean especially on the highway. I mean, motor coach operators have enough to worry about already, aside from just driving the bus. And in the US, most coach buses do not have an attendant on board to serve the passengers as well as, well, to keep an eye on them. Unless you're on a private charter and the charter group has appointed a tour guide or leader of some sort. Just look at Greyhound and all the issues they've been having over the years with crazy passengers on board their buses doing some really crazy stuff. I mean, can you imagine the type of things that passengers would be doing on Greyhound buses if they could now open the windows during their long trips? I'm going to leave it up to your imaginations of what type of headlines the bus lines like Greyhound would be making on the news if this were the case. Even on city transit buses and school buses where you can open the windows on board, they make the openings really small and usually really high up so that people can't try to like jump out or do something stupid. Now, I know that these cases are rare and that most people are not going to do crazy things like that on buses. Don't get me wrong, guys. It's not that I have zero faith in humanity to not do stupid, crazy things on public mass transit vehicles. But if you're in the business of transporting hundreds if not thousands of people a day, all it takes is that one person to really cause a problem that sticks with you for a long time. So to sum it up, making windows not openable on a motor coach, a vehicle that spends most of its time traveling over 70 miles an hour, that's 112 kilometers an hour on the highway, I would say that's one less thing that the bus drivers, as well as bystanders and police, have to worry about. Now, there are times that I really, really wish that the windows on my coach bus could open. Maybe just a tiny bit. 
You know, kind of like the way they work on city transit buses. Because it really does suck when the air conditioning stops working on a coach bus and you basically have to replace the entire bus with a whole nother bus when that happens because it gets unbearably hot and stuffy on board. And traveling at 70 miles an hour down the interstate, even with a small openable area of the passenger window, could make the coach bearable on board without having to pull over to the side of the road and wait for another bus to swap you out. But I can understand why coach bus manufacturers didn't do it that way. Now, this is, again, all my speculation, of course, but have you guys ever been driving your car on the highway on a road trip trying to enjoy some peace and quiet? Or maybe your favorite song is playing and that one friend sitting in the back just cracks his or her window just a tiny bit. Even though you as a driver have the air conditioning going, so it's not like there's any reason to open a window or anything. And now instead of being able to enjoy a nice conversation with your passengers or enjoying your favorite song that's playing, you now have to deal with that high-pitched wind noise through your friend's cracked window. Wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? Kinda makes you wanna strangle that person, doesn't it? Well, now imagine being on a motor coach with over 50 passengers, each with their own ability to open a small sliver of a window. If you as a passenger were thinking that you would be able to enjoy some nice peace and quiet during your bus ride, well, think again. Those engineers designing these high-end coach buses kind of knew what they were doing when they decided to keep these windows sealed. I mean, it would just destroy the comfort factor on these buses. At around seven to eight miles per gallon on the highway, equipped with a two to 300 gallon tank on board, it costs a lot to fuel these monstrosities. So aerodynamics is a very important factor for the engineers when designing a coach bus. After all, every bus manufacturer wants to be able to brag that they have the most fuel efficient coaches. Now, I would imagine that each window that opens on these giant boxes on wheels would create just a little more drag on the frame, uh, especially at highway speeds. Times that by 50 open windows, and that would probably significantly reduce the miles per gallon on a coach bus. Now again, this is just my speculation. I could be completely wrong on all of this. In fact, I think Mythbusters did an episode on whether or not opening windows on a car is more or less efficient than leaving the air conditioning on. The idea is that on a really hot day, it's more efficient to run with your air conditioning on full blast and your windows up than it is to drive with the windows down and the AC off. Now, it's been a while since I've watched Mythbusters, so I don't remember what their verdict was, but I'm gonna have to watch that episode again. As mentioned before, a coach bus is designed for comfort. Anyone who has ever ridden on one will probably agree that it's one of the most comfortable ways to travel long distances on land, especially if you're traveling as a group. But also, as mentioned before, much of that comfort depends on the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems on board, otherwise known as the HVAC system. What most people don't realize is that the HVAC system on a coach bus is always running, regardless of whether it's a freezing winter wonderland outside or a blistering hot summer day. Even if the temperature outside was a perfect, let's say 60 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 degrees Celsius outside. The heat and AC systems on a coach bus are constantly running with each other to keep the temperature perfect on board and the fresh air flowing. Without an HVAC system, a ride on a motor coach can actually get really uncomfortable very quickly. If the HVAC system should ever stop working on a coach bus, and believe me, it does happen, on a hot summer day, it's gonna be like riding in a giant greenhouse on wheels with temperatures reaching well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius. And in the wintertime, without heat, it turns into a giant ice box with temperatures dropping below zero degrees Fahrenheit or negative 17.8 degrees Celsius. Now, keep in mind, this is with the coach bus in full operation. I mean, whether you're sitting somewhere idling or cruising down the road, it really doesn't make a difference. The temperatures are still uh, gonna reach extreme conditions on board without an HVAC system. These are not conditions that a coach bus company is gonna wanna put passengers through. And believe me, I've seen some really shady operations that has tried to transport passengers on coach buses without AC in the summertime or heat in the wintertime. It's almost downright dangerous, especially if it's a really hot or cold day outside. 
Coach buses were just not designed to operate without an HVAC system. As high-end and complex of a vehicle as these half-million-dollar coach buses are, the HVAC systems are kind of the Achilles heel of these giant land yachts. And no one is a happy camper when the air conditioning or heat on a coach bus goes out in the middle of a trip. Not the driver, especially not the passengers, and not the management team at home base trying to figure out how to get another coach bus out to the uncomfortable passengers and drivers. Now I know it's hot, we're filthy, tired, but we will never get out of this if we don't pull it together and start to act like professionals. Now, I've heard people say things like, are you kidding me? What a bunch of pansies. When I was a kid back in my day, none of the buses had air conditioning. Well, hell, we didn't even have air conditioning in our house, our car, or in our school. Well, that may be true, Farmer Brown, but I'm willing to bet that you were able to open the windows, and that's something that you can't do on a coach bus. Now, with all that said, most of the passenger side windows on US-made motor coaches actually can be opened to be used as an emergency exit during an emergency. However, you wouldn't want to do it while the bus is moving. Now, I'm actually planning to do a video about emergency exits on motor coaches, so I'm not gonna go too much into detail in this video about that. But by lifting the side bars of some of these windows, the window bottoms become unlatched from the side of the bus, allowing the window to swing outwards. I will say that as a driver on really hot days where I have to wait for my group for hours and while my bus is sitting on the tarmac of a wide open parking lot with no shade, sometimes I'll prop some of these side windows open to allow the airflow to circulate through the bus to keep the temperatures manageable. But be careful while doing this. I always try not to prop them open too far out, especially if the bus parking area is going to get packed and other buses are going to be pulling in and out next to you. The last thing you want is for another bus to take off your window because you're trying to stay cool on the bus. Also, to the passengers, if you're watching this, please don't get any ideas. I mean, these windows are pretty fragile when they're open like this. It's solely for emergencies only and not meant to be open while the coach is in motion. If you do decide to be an idiot and open one of these windows while the coach bus is in motion, the air rushing alongside of the vehicle is going to rip the window right out of your grip and cause the window panel to glide up and down in the air. I've seen it happen on buses where the windows were not latched properly after cleaning, and in doing so, they can break off from the sheer force of the wind and cause damage to cars next to the bus. Also, it's a DOT violation to have these windows open while in motion. So if you do decide to open one of these while the bus is moving, you could find yourself riding away in the back of a police car. Now, if you guys and gals out there can think of any more reasons why the windows on motor coaches in the US do not open, please add it down in the comment box below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say on this topic. Well, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And don't forget to check out Motor Coach News and their YouTube channel, Motor Coach Minute, if you want to stay up to date on all the trending topics happening in the motor coach industry. Unlike my videos where I go on and on for 15 to 20 minutes, Motor Coach Minute gives you all the headlines in just under a minute. Link will be down below in the description box. Folks, as always, if you're watching this, then you are part of the motor coach world.